to Christchurch now, and with hundreds of buildings set for demolition, the face of that city is set to change forever. But what will the city look like, and will the old Christchurch be forgotten? Well, one leading technology expert says he's found the solution using cutting-edge technology. Kim Vanell with this. They may be snap happy. Good shots down there. But don't mistake these two for disaster tourists. Move on. This is crucial work. There's buildings I've loved my whole life that are gone. And for my children and their children, you know, the only chance they're going to see to them is through a medium like this. Architect Jason Mill is mapping every inch of the city, although not how you'd expect. Uh, we're taking HDR panoramas around the city, so similar to Google Street View, but sort of a poor man's street view. The photos then taken here to Jason's earthquake-proof bunker. Every thumbtack is a position of the photos. Each and every photo converting a building to a 3D image. So I set up the points of perspective that we can take off the photo and that allows me to line the photo and then I can use any texture we can see in that image. I can then apply to the surface. So how important do you think this technology will be in giving a new vision for Christchurch? You know, rather than just fixing, there's an opportunity to fully recreate what we're doing. Um, and there's a mindset change. It's a lot of people talking they won't go back into high buildings. Uh, so it's actually a real impetus to look afresh at how we use space. And space is what this city will have plenty of. Latest estimates put 350 central city buildings in need of demolition. And that's where Canterbury University and Professor Mark Billinghurst step in. Hello. Hey Kim, come Hello. in, how are you doing? Hey, how are you? Here, using Jason's models, the future of Christchurch comes to life. So you can fly through the model and you can feel like you're standing in the city and seeing all the buildings around you. <laughs> With traditional tools like um, printed documents or still images, people sometimes don't get a, a real impression of what it could be like. Um, and with this system we can show buildings what it's like in life size. It's called immersive visualisation. To show people what the city used to look like and then we can then replace buildings here as they get torn down or as we have uh, alternate designs for the future. It's just one of the ways Mark is giving the power back to the people of Canterbury. And people can say, look at option A, well, I quite like that one, and write some comments down. And an eyesight or something like that could capture all that data and use it as a way of providing great community engagement. But it's on the streets of Christchurch. The technology becomes truly impressive. Well, what are we doing here? Sure, great. So this is the Earthquake AR software, and this runs on a normal Android uh, mobile phone. When I hold the phone up like this, I can see a live camera view coming from the camera on the phone. But then using the GPS and the compass on the phone, we can overlay virtual models into the real world. Gaping holes where proud buildings once stood transformed. In front of me, of course, is the, uh, where the St Elmo's Quartz building was, but now there's just an empty site. When I look through here, as you can see, I can see a 3D model of the building as, as it used to be. St Elmo Quartz has been on this corner for more than 80 years. Now, using augmented reality technology, her glory is relived and reimagined. And when we uh, drag on the timeline here, you can go back and forward in time. So we can drag back to the left and we can see what it would look like 50 years ago. We can drag it forward a little bit. We can see what it was like uh, the day before the quake. And then we can go forward in time and we could see what it could be like in the future. The plan, to make models from architects' impressions for every demolished building, then give the software away for free. You can use it uh, for community uh, feedback as well. So I can see the, the building on site and I can add my own comments and thoughts. I might say, well, you know, this new design is too big compared to the police station or I don't like the colour. This team, certain Cantabrians, sick of hearing their city called shattered, will find a way forward. It's just going to completely change the face of the city. We've been through the red zone. There's areas that are completely wiped out. But it's a, it's a clean canvas for something new, something exciting.